Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at installing GIMP 2.9.8, which is currently in development, but you can still download it, which is great because it has lots of new features you can try out before they are actually released in the stable version. For example, here we have on canvas gradient editing, which is a brand new tool they are well, they have added to the 2.9.8 version, but obviously isn't in the stable version at the minute. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have clip warning, which is all new as well. I will put a link to this page in the description below so you can go through it all yourself as well. We have, um, they've made some changes to the color management. We've got Wayland support, paste in place, GUI and usability. They've made some changes there, which is great. That's what we'd like to see. And what else? Help manuals upon detection of locally installed manuals in several languages. Okay, that's cool. What else do we have? Improved Wavelet Decompose Filter, which sounds cool. I like to see new improved features when it comes to GIMP. And file formats, the PSD, which is Photoshop, PSD plugin was fixed to properly handle Photoshop files with deeply nested layer groups and preserved expanded state of groups. I'm not going to bore you too much anyway and read everything. Let's go ahead now and download and install GIMP 2.9.8 onto our computer. To start off with, you need to click on the first link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on download GIMP 2.9.8 and you need to go save file. Depend on how fast your internet is will depend on how long it takes to download as it is quite a big file size. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now run the setup file. You now need to select your language. You now need to go ahead and hit continue. We now need to go ahead and select customize and go next. Here you can choose where you'd like to install GIMP. I'm happy with it being on my C drive, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and press next and everything's all selected there for the full installation. That's great, that's what we want. And we need to go next again. Here we can select the type of files we want to have associated with GIMP. I'm just going to leave that all at default for a second. We can do that at a later date. And I'm going to create a desktop shortcut as it's easier to open up the program and we can now go install. Once the install has finished, we can now press finish and open up GIMP. And as you can see, GIMP has installed on my computer absolutely fine. This is what the new version looks like. As always, I love the layout of GIMP. They haven't really changed it too much, which is great. That's what I like. And that is it, unfortunately. I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.